Alright folks, it's time for a PUGB League round 21 catch-up match. This time it's going to be Lux versus Boy Rocker. And the Echo Cam is primed and ready to rock and roll as Blue Hair K here on commentary doing the adjudication. You'll learn Are you prepared? Let's play together. Ooh, I'm going to just quickly stack Tetrimidos up. It's easier to do that. So that's now done. Let's get the player score up and running. And let's go. So let's look at the setups right here. So seems as if um, Boy Rocker is attempting to do Yayoi, whereas uh, Lux has got GTR on the go. It's a nice setup there, actually, for GTR for Lux. It's probably going to look to extend a bit more. Getting rushed a little bit with that 2 chain. Nice reply from Lux. Getting a 7 chain in early. Star of garbage. And this one's over and done with. Lux goes 1 0 up. We can pretty much know how both players are going to play. Oh, good music on the old Wurlitzer. Ooh, two chain, two chain poke from Boy Rocker. Well, there's a bit of a something very much arms about that um, pre replacement from Lux right there. It's got some digging down to do. Okay, what next for Lux? Okay, Boy Rocker going for single chains now. Probably looking to see where he can start building chains, as it were. I like the platform. Okay, two chain retaliation from Lux. 80 for free blocks about half of that garbage from Boy Rocker. I mean, building flat is quite nice with another two chain now from, from Lux. Caught on the frame with the residual damage as well. Okay, another chain coming off from Lux. A free chain. Nice work. And you see Lux has got a lot of resources at his disposal. Boy Rocker needs to do a little bit of digging out now. Oh, Two chain, that might... Yeah, that was a... a bit of a bad placement from Boy Rocker there. With the single line, six garbage taking it from him, uh, taking it away from him, and Lux now goes 2 0 up. I quite like the idea of building flat. This is something that Boy Rocker can certainly work with. Oh, we've got the endless music from uh, Poo Poo 2. Although, with the key, it's actually more Poo Poo Sun than Poo Poo 2. Let's see. Oh, Boy Rocker looking at 3 1 stairs now. Okay, not bad. Oh, hang on. Boy Rock has had to go away by the looks of things. Oh, he's back. When you just see Puyo stalling there, you think, oh, that's not good. Okay, single chain. So Lux again with the GTR setup. Oh, good two chain. Good block as well. Oh, that's jammy colours. <laughs> This is where he got the green, so he can set his chain off. It's going to be a ooh, nice, nice five into a six, power five into a six, and that takes um, Boy Rocket out. Lux goes three nil up. He has the bonus point in his hands. Okay, so into the fourth game now. Again, you can see the flat form from, from Boy Rocker. It's not a particularly bad tactic to play. Just depends on how he goes about building up floors, as it were. A single chain now from Boy Rocker. Oh, that was a, that was a laser guided nuisance for you, wasn't it? That garbage for you going straight where uh, Lux 
was looking to trigger. However, he's got double blues coming up now, so it's going to be a safe bet. Ooh, looks to be a power chain. Yeah, power six. Before not getting the speed in to build anything meaningful. Whereas Lux has got the resources to continue an onslaught. So it's 4-0 now to Lux. Again, I like the I like the play from Boy Rocker. I think, you know, the platform is certainly very viable. Okay, now Boy Rocker's looking at Interesting, interesting from Boy Rocker. I mean, Lux is GTR. You pretty much know what you're going to get with, with Lux being a GTR user. Ooh. Free chain to free chain. Not a bad exchange, actually, from, from both players. Of course, the one thing that Lux has as he sets up a free chain. Oh, that's looking quite powerful, actually. Nearly 30 garbage. Oh, might have some desync issues. Of course, the one th uh, we seem to be okay so far, so we'll just hang tight. Oh, I don't think so now. I think this might be curtains for the match. It is. So the match will end, we'll have to get the room back up, which I'll do that right now. Alrighty guys, apologies for the uh, connection issue there. We've got the combatants back up, the timer will restart after this game. And already better music. Let's see if the plans change a bit more now. Okay, Boy Rocker, looking to see what he can build. It's a two-chain opportunity there, so it's not to, to go for it. I mean, well, this is actually looking quite nice from Lux. He's got, oh, he's going to set off. He's going to use that six-chain, which will definitely take the game as far away from Boy Rocker as needs be. That one is done. Okay then, with that one done, Lux goes 5-0 up, and the timer will now restart. Okay, so looking again, Lux looking for that GTR line, which he's now got. Oh, that's a good free chain, good free chain poke. Single chain only blocks one garbage pool from that. And it's kind of um, done a little bit of mischief. Oh, well, I say done a little bit of mischief. The double green, that was almost perfectly choreographed, wasn't it? The colour RNG blessing Lux. Not necessarily Boy Rocker all the way. Okay, now this two chain looking to take it as far away as possible. I think that seventh uh, garbage Puyo was on top of column two, wasn't it? So there was no way, unfortunately, that Boy Rocker was going to be able to rotate the greens over to the other side to continue the dig. Unfortunate, but it seems to be favouring um, Lux at the moment this game. As I was saying, actually, during, or about to say during commentary, the one thing that Lux has got on his advantage is speed. Usually, even if you are a beginner player, if you've got speed, whether it's intentional speed or not, if you have, sp if you have speed on your side, you can actually do an awful lot. And that's very fortuitous Puyos, and it's a nice tail as well from from Lux. Lovely 8 chain. And that's going to be curtains for Boy Rocker, I'm afraid. 
I reckon Lux feels very good about that 8 chain. That just worked for him. That was there. And that's the thing of having speed. Even if you lack the precision and finesse, or, in, well, precision is actually the better word. I wouldn't say accuracy, but if you lack, if you lack the precision and finesse, as long as you've got speed, you can actually feign being a better player than you actually are. It's like the Puyo equivalent of winging it. Again, I, I seem to like what Lux is, is doing. Oh, I see two two stairs actually coming from, from Boy Rocker. That's interesting. Question is, is he now going to get purples? I think he is, you know. And I think he's going to set his chain off. Oh, look at this. Huge blue. 90 for 38. Oh, it's so unlucky. That's a lovely chain from Lux in retaliation. The boy Rocker can still can still make some legal plays here. Just needs to start digging. Just keep chipping away at the garbage there. Although a Swamp 2 chain into a 3 is going to take the game from boy Rocker. Unfortunate because that 90 for 38 was a very lovely 4 chain. The Lux goes 8 nil up. Boy Rocker may score a win. Certainly been threatening. And this will certainly be, or surely be, the last match of this um, of this game. Or rather, last game of this match. Interesting from Lux that he's deciding not to pursue that line. Power 2 into a 3. That was a poor placement from Lux and now he's been made to pay. Can he dig out? What's the point? Is there an all-clear opportunity? I don't think so. Okay, Boy Rocker being a little savvy. Reads the 2 chain from Lux, counters with a 2 chain of his own. Only one garbage result from all of that. Oh, well, he had the opportunity for a 3 chain there, did Boy Rocker. I think he's looking to build a bit more. Going for the 2 chain. Ah, oh, but Lux is able to dig out and get to his main chain. Six chain incoming. Nothing Boy Rocker can do about that. And that takes that takes it away from Boy Rocker, and that is game. So the end of this round. Lux nine, Boy Rocker nil.